In this video, we will perform an activity to verify the Pythagoras property of a right angle triangle. Before doing this activity, let us first understand what is Pythagoras property. The very first thing that we have to understand is the Pythagoras property holds for a right angle triangle. Here I have drawn a right angle triangle. This is triangle ABC which is right angled at C. In a right angle triangle, there are two perpendicular sides. You can see here AC and CB. These are the two perpendicular sides. The horizontal side BC or CB is called base of the triangle and the vertical side AC is called the perpendicular of the triangle. Now coming to this slanting side AB which is the longest side of this triangle. This is known as hypotenuse of this triangle. According to Pythagoras property in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of its perpendicular and base. Here I have written h square is equal to p square plus b square means the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of perpendicular side and square of base. For this activity we need three squares. These are the cutouts of the three squares which I have already prepared. Now you can see the first square is a 3 by 3 square and the side of this square is 3 centimeters. This is the second square, this is a 4 by 4 square and the side of this square is 4 centimeters. The third square is a 5 by 5 square and the side of this square is 5 centimeters. We have to take squares of different colors, 3 different colors we have to choose. Now. What else we will need for this activity? We will need a set square, a scale, a pencil, a sketch pen and a glue. We will draw a right angled triangle using this set square and scale. First we have to take a measurement of 3 cm in the base. So, we draw a line here of 3 cm. Now we will use this set square to draw a perpendicular. So I will set this here with the base, the side, this long side of the set square I will set with this base and I will take a measurement of 4 cm I will draw a line. We will write the measurement here this is 3 cm this is 4 cm and now what we have to do we have to join these two ends when you will join this, you will find that this side is 5 cm on scale. We will write here 5 cm. Now we will use these cutouts of the squares and we will set it along the corresponding sides. This is the square of 3 cm, so we will set it here. This is a square of 4 cm, so I will set it here. And this is the square of 5 cm, so I will set it here. Now I will paste these squares using glue.
in this right angled triangle the perpendicular side is 4 cm so we will write here p is equal to 4 cm the base is equal to 3 cm so we will write here p is equal to 3 cm and the hypotenuse the longest side is equal to 5 cm so we will write here h is equal to 5 cm after this we will find out the area of each square the area of square is side into side side square so we'll use that formula to find out the area of these squares so first we'll find out the area of this small square this is a square of side 3 cm so we'll write here 3 square is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 the area of this square is 4 square 4 multiplied by 4 equals to 16 and the area of this square is 5 square 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25 here you can see that this square is divided into nine small squares and this blue square is divided into 16 small squares this big square is divided into 25 small squares so what we can observe here is when we will add this 9 and 16 nine small squares plus 16 small squares we get 25 small squares means the area of this square plus area of this square is equal to the area of this big square so we'll write here 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 when we will write this in the form of square we'll write it here 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square it means that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two perpendicular sides we can write our observation as h square is equal to p square plus b square means the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of perpendicular and base this is how we have seen that the pythagoras property is verified by doing this activity i hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the concept of pythagoras property thank you for watching this video and keep learning